they left it late. They only actually scored one goal at the last World Cup, but they have a victory here now in Russia. Richie, did they deserve it? You can see why they only scored one in the last World Cup. We spoke before the game that their approach is defence-minded. Um, so much of the build-up to this World Cup, we promoted our coverages. You know, we're going to be watching really memorable moments and things we'll be talking about for years. That was forgettable. And that was awful for the majority of that second half in particular. Did they deserve it? It depends. I mean, they, yeah, every team plays to their strengths. If they go out and play swashbuckling, you know, open, expansive football, Iran will get beaten. So they played to their strengths. They tried to keep it tight at the back. I thought maybe the chances they created in the first half and didn't take would come back and haunt them because they're not a team that creates many chances. The chance that they got, it were gifted an unnecessary free kick. Amrabat shouldn't have tripped over, got us in the corner in the way that he did. Um, and of course, one of the opponents put it in their own goal. So, long-winded answer, did they deserve it? No, it was, it was awful stuff. It was cynical play from Iran for a lot of it. Liam clocked that they were time-wasting, I think, from the 10th or 12th minute, just delaying, restarting the game at every opportunity. Um, but Morocco, in the chances and semi-chances they created, they didn't take them, so mm. they'd be gutted. Yeah, Liam, I'm tempted to say, you know, look, they won't care one bit no, in Tehran all. and other places like that. Oh, World Cup, yeah. you know, they get off to that start. <clears throat> Actually, I did say at half-time, that Queros would have been the happier manager. Uh, Morocco had run out of ideas. They'd resorted to long balls, diagonal balls that were going out of play. They were trying to force it, and they didn't show any real quality to trouble a sturdy, stubborn, um, you know, strong defence and a decent goalkeeper in Benavad uh, uh, in the in the Iran goal. But it was a dreadful game of football, mm. and we don't want to see too many of them. And the fact that it was won by a known goal, I think, is appropriate because neither team looked good enough to score. There was fouls galore, yellow cards, time wasting, lack of quality, lack of composure from both sides. But having said that, as you say, in Tehran, they'll be jumping up and down um, because it's a, they're a small nation coming into this match. I didn't give them much of a chance, mm. but they, uh, they were stubborn and they, they were physical. They got their bodies in the way. Um, they were spirited. So you have to say they deserved it because uh, they were up against it. They were the inferior side and Morocco never showed up apart from the first 10 minutes of the, of the match. Mm.